Okay, here's a second type of graph, and uh, I've drawn it so it looks the same shape, but it actually means something completely different. So the first section here, it's a steep, li it's a steep line going up from 0 to 40. Because we're looking at velocity, it means it's changing velocity, it's getting faster. And the special word for that means accelerating. So it's accelerating by 0 to 40 in 10 seconds. Um, a, a horizontal line here, on the other graph it meant stationary, but it now means it's going at a steady velocity of 40. So during this period here, it's traveling at a steady speed of 40 meters per second. You can see the line goes up again here. This means that it's accelerating again till it gets to a maximum speed here of 60 meters per second. And then the line going all the way back down to zero means that it's decelerating. The opposite to accelerating means slowing down until it becomes to rest after 50 seconds. Now, if you're doing the higher tier, you may be asked how far this car has traveled during its journey. And what you must remember is it's the area under the graph. So you can work out the area of that triangle, add it to the area of this rectangle, add it to the area of that rectangle. Here's an exam question you could get on graphs. Well, how fast was the object going after 10 seconds? Go up from 10, you can see it will be going 40 meters per second. What is the acceleration from 20 to 30? Well, the change in speed during that time is 20 meters per second in a time of 10 seconds, so it would be 2 meters per second squared. What is the acceleration from 30 to 50? Change of speed goes from 60 to 0, so it's 60 meters per second change in a time of 20. So 6 divided by 20 would be 3 meters per second squared, and it might be a minus sign to show it's a deceleration. How far did the object travel altogether? You'd have to do it by working out the area under the graph that would only appear on a higher paper.